Today is the 31st of January 2021, the last Sunday of January. Tomorrow is the 1st February 2021 to 7th February 2021. It's our seven days fasting and prayer. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord be with you all. Amen. Please join me in a short prayer. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come, I come to thee, I need thee every hour. Most great is yours, Lord. No ten the voice like thine can be suffered. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee, oh, bless. Me now, my Savior, I come, I come to thee. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come, I come to thee. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being in your presence this last Sunday of January 2021. May your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. Please speak to us this morning as we've come before you, Heavenly Father. Precious Holy Spirit, teach us to understand the word of God through the sermon in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray. Amen. Our topic for today's sermon is based on the theme of the year, let all that you do be done with love, which comes from 1 Corinthians 16, verse 14. Now let's examine lessons to be learned on love. Lessons learned on love, part 5. 1 John chapter 4, verse 21. 1 John chapter 4, verse 21. And this commandment we have from him, that we, that, that he who loves God must love his brother also. The next one is 1 Peter 2, verse 17. 1 Peter 2, verse 17. It says, Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. What a message. Now, lesson learned from 1 John 4, verse 21. A. And this commandment we have from him, then B, that he who loves God must love his brother also. May we apply in our lives lesson learned from Jesus on this message in Matthew 5, verse 43 to 48. Matthew 5, verse 43 to 48. Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Verse 44, But I say to you, Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Verse, five, uh, verse 45, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. Verse 46, for if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the task collected to the same. Verse 47, and if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the task letters do so. Verse 48, therefore you shall be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Hallelujah. What a message. Therefore, our brother mentioned is a certain man or a woman that has described it. Brother is a certain. So it's not someone you even know that person is a brother. Lesson number two, First Peter chapter 2 verse 17. It said, uh, honor all people. But this includes all tribes, nationality, race. So therefore, there's no discrimination 
no partiality. So proper respect to everyone because every human being was created in the image of God. No one chose to be born black, white, yellow, Aragon, uh, Ashanti, etc. Then B, he said, love the, the brotherhood. That is, all believers, all Christians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 12. Jesus said, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Now we will see, he said, fear God. Let's read what Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Summer wrote a very interesting thing. He said that, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. For this is man's all. Wonderful. Then in Deuteronomy chapter 2, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 2. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 2. It is written, he said, that you may fear the Lord your God to keep all his status and his commandments which I command you and you and your sons and your grandsons and all uh, 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 your grandsons all the days of your life and that your days may be prolonged. Hmm. That's wonderful. This uh, honor the king. Honor the king. This is also a very important uh, point in this same message. So we can read, maybe we read First Timothy chapter, First Timothy chapter two, verse one and two. First Timothy chapter two, verse one and two. I read. He says, "Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men." Verse two, for kings and all who are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all goodness or in all godliness and reverence. That's a wonderful message. The other one comes from Romans chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. It's also very uh, significant, very important. Romans chapter 13, for verse 1 to 3 says, verse 1, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Verse 2, Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Verse, verse 3, For rulers are not a terror to good work, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. Hallelujah. So from... Uh, there is the secret here is that uh, even if you do not love the government, you must pray for them. You know, so I like us to read Jesus Christ says something here in Matthew chapter 22, verse 15 to 21. Matthew chapter 22, verse 15 to 21 is very interesting. He said, verse 15, then the Pharisees. Uh, uh, went and plotted how they might entangle him in his talk. Verse 16. And they sent to him their disciples and the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true uh, uh, and, and teach the way of God in truth. Nor do you care about anyone, for you do not regard the persons of men. 17. Tell us, therefore, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why do you test me, you hypocrites? Verse 19, show me the tax money. So they brought him a denarius. Verse 20, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? 21, they said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God things that are God. Hallelujah. Now this is very, very important. So uh, uh, on this foundation, I also like to read another passage that uh, Jesus gave in Matthew chapter 17, verse 24. It's also very interesting. Matthew chapter 17, from verse 24, it says, When they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple task came to Peter and said, Does your teacher 
not to pay temple tax. Verse 25, he said yes. And when he had come into uh, uh, the owl, Jesus had spitted him, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? And the six Peter said to him, From strangers, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. 27. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened his mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. In Jesus' name, amen. What a story. What a message. So may we will now pray with this understanding. I'd like us to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for speaking to us about the will of God. May we obey your word. May we love and pray for our enemies and the government starting from this Sunday. May we love all believers and all people uh, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray. Amen. Let's please take the guidelines of coronavirus very serious, especially where I lose my and then uh, on this foundation, I'd like to say the benediction. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, we ask you, Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. From this day forth and be forever. In Jesus' name, thanksgiving. Amen.